Good afternoon, everybody. Steve Georgie here, live from Allendale's trading floor. It's August 20th, 2010. I'm here with your market recap here for the week. We've had one heck of a week in the grains. We're going to start off with that. Corn ended up seven cents higher today. Despite beans being down eight and three quarters, the wheat market lower, down two and a quarter cents. That puts wheat 22 lower on the week. Beans were down 40 cents, but the corn was up nine for the week. Still a stronger week for corn. You had uh, you had almost 20,000 contracts trading corn uh, right at the last 10 minutes of trade today. So they were pushing the market higher. You had a crop tour estimates coming out today, and I think that's what the trade was waiting for. They were looking for friendly numbers off this tour, uh, and the numbers that came out uh, for corn, they came out at 164.1 as far as your average bushel. Um, you had USDA, their number's 165, so it's down about 0.9. Uh, we are still looking for a total. We still think we're going to see 167, so we're still a little bit bearish. But I think this number, I think they were looking for a little bit less here than just you know less than a bushel down. So we'll see. I think this number could be more friendly, uh, or I should say more negative to the market uh, once we open up here on Sunday night. But that's what that's that's what they have come out here with corn. The tour looked uh, actually a bearish number on beans, and as I mentioned, beans were down eight and a quarter cents today. The tour projected forty four point nine uh, as far as your average bean yield. Uh, USDA was out with a forty four off the last report. That's an increase of point nine. Uh, our target's still closer to that forty three point three. So with that said, you saw exactly that. You had these these bigger. Uh, the bigger money out there pushing these markets around. They were looking for a friendlier number in corn, a, a smaller number as far as the crop, and they got it. For beans, they were looking for a bigger number. They got it. But when you look at this technically, you had corn that closed week uh, for, for, the day, uh, for the daily charts, also the weekly charts. Also on the wheat, wheat was more of a negative close as well. So when you look at that in the grand scheme of things, corn was the only one that has not broken down below support yet, still hanging on, and you have the funds that are extremely long in the corn. So be careful out there. So uh, with that said, corn was still higher in the face of crude oil being down 90 cents today. You look at a lot of these outside markets, and you look at these outside market influences, and it hasn't seemed, it does, hasn't mattered at all. Corn, uh, crude oil down 90 cents, down $1.88 for the week. Uh, the dollar up 65 today. Typically, you find a dollar that's higher, crude oil that's down, you have the markets that are selling off. Well, that wasn't the case. Uh, the dollar actually for the week was only up about 15 cents, but was a strong close for the week. We saw an early pullback and a nice late week rally here for the dollar with concerns of the European uh, economy now uh, it, you know, looming out there. You've got guys rushing back to the dollar. Looks like it's a strong close today. We'll see if that does follow through going into Monday. The metals today dropping back a little bit with the increase in the dollar. You had gold down seven bucks, silver down thirty-five cents. Gold is still up twelve dollars for the week, so still has a strong weekly close. Silver actually ended up thirteen thirteen cents lower, um, but we'll see. Like I said, if that carries into next week. Uh, as far as the livestock, we've had an interesting trade here this week. We've had a lot of uh, a lot of bullishness this week. We had a lot of fun money come pouring into this market. Uh, you had fat cattle actually up only seven cents today, but it's up four dollars and seventeen cents for the week. Very strong move there. Feeders up fifty-five cents today. Uh, puts them up two dollars and ninety cents for the week. And then hogs finishing. They were down sixty-five cents today, but still finished up two fifty-five for the week. So still very strong. And I think a lot of the a lot of the strength was anticipation of. Uh, the cattle on feed report that came out. Uh, you had on feed numbers came out at 102.4 today. Uh, the average estimate was 102. Uh, you had your placed came out at 94.1. Average was 92.6. So a little bit higher there. Uh, and then as far as the marketings came out at 98.3. Average guess of 99.7. Our calls right now we're looking for them to be down a little bit here come Monday, maybe down 20 cents or so, but uh, we are looking for a little bit lower opening come Monday off of these numbers. Um, as far as the cold storage report, you had pork stocks down about 28%, you had beef down about 13 and you had the chicken down about 1%. So as far as that, you know, we are looking for these hogs. 
uh, to potentially be up a little bit, calling them up maybe 10 to 20 cents. Uh, but we are looking for a little bit higher start off in some of these numbers. So we're a little bit friendly on hogs come Monday, maybe a little bit negative here as far as the cattle market. But uh, a lot of outside influences, uh, you know, you've had a lot of these funds that have been shifting money around. Uh, the grains still look pretty good. As I mentioned, it was a weak close here for, corn, uh, for, for beans and for wheat. We'll see what corn ends up doing, but it does look pretty strong right now. And we're right near those highs that we had, that big spike high that we had uh, about a week ago, a little more than a week ago. We're back to that target area again. So look for that here next week. We are doing our... Our, um, our yield survey. So we, we encourage you guys to give us a call. We can't do this without you guys. So anything that you guys can do to help us out, we greatly appreciate. Give us a call with those numbers that you have. Uh, you know, we don't have much time left with that, but give us a call, 800-262-7538, or you can fill out that on the web, allendale-inc.com. Right there along the top, you can see uh, you can go and fill out your numbers right there, hit submit, and we're going to get you those numbers here ahead of time before the numbers are released here from the USDA. So uh, we do encourage you to get out there and do that as well. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for listening, and uh, we'll talk to you here next week. Have a great weekend.